Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne, and uh, this is a message uh, from my mother. Uh, this is uh, message 10 in a series, and uh, this series will soon become a book. I'm not sure if there'll be a book two or book three, but uh, definitely the first 10 me messages, including this message, will be in a book. Uh, so uh, it's 2.25 p.m., and uh, my mother's going to speak. So uh, this is June. This is Matthew's mother. Uh, hi, Matthew. Uh, I uh, really uh, enjoy these sessions uh, speaking to you. I really uh, enjoy and are excited about the fact that you set time aside uh, for me to talk to you. Uh, I... Uh, I really uh, miss our times uh, being able to speak on the phone uh, and speak back and forth. Uh, I, I used to enjoy those conversations and uh, even though uh, you got flack about it off your two brothers and sister, and then some, somewhat of their, their flack, some, somewhat of their um, comments were based in jealousy. Um, but uh, you're not to worry about that and I apologise for even bringing it up then um, but uh, I really do miss uh, our conversations I miss uh, you uh, uh, speaking to me each day and uh, letting me know what you're doing with each day uh, you just uh, checked uh, your email, uh, because it had one extra email in that you noticed, and uh, there was an email back with the first five uh, conversations that we had, and so uh, that's good because uh, this is the tenth one, and uh, after this uh, has been uploaded, you're going to send these ten conversations through uh, to get. Uh, typed up yourself and then uh, this book will be on the way uh, to uh, being made and I really uh, you know heaven really wants this book uh, out there uh, just uh, mainly so people know that their their relatives uh, can uh, speak to them uh, from heaven uh, that uh, that uh, people, for, for people to know that they're spiritual beings and that uh, uh, their relatives are alive in heaven and, and the people are alive in Christ and uh, that uh, people aren't in the grave and they're not having what the Seven Day Adventists would call soul sleep and uh, they're not asleep in the grave uh, but uh, they're alive and living and there's references uh, that people are asleep. <coughs> Jesus even said uh, that the young girl was asleep. She's not dead, she's just asleep. And uh, people assume that uh, people are in the grave sleeping, but they're not. Uh, and uh, uh, they're, they're alive in heaven and I'm really alive. And you're not having a conversation with some something that isn't real it's not a demon talking to you um, even in the process of this conversation uh you've had things happen uh, like uh i was warning you for instance that uh, david was was uh, going to act up when you told him that he lacks integrity and uh you told him that he lacks integrity and you're not gonna play part in the evangelism anymore because you can't trust him to turn up. And uh, he reacted and he called you all sorts of names and uh, really was spitefully talking to you. And uh, and I pre-warned you that. Uh, uh, I, I, I told you that. So I essentially uh, told the future. And uh, you, you've been talking to uh, Bob Jones and he spoke about having more heavenly visitations and uh, then, uh, then uh, um, you've decided to uh, take people uh, to heaven uh, as your new website in the direction of Bob Jones and uh, then you had someone offer 
uh, what, want uh, you to take them to heaven and then she just paid you uh, $200 uh, for, for taking her to heaven. And so that's confirmation that, um, like Bob says, he, uh, heaven wants you to take more people to heaven and you're going to offer it on your website. And the fact that you took this woman for free and then she asked you what's your donation paid and paid you $200 was just a way of um, confirming that for you. So people in heaven tell you real things and they're real and they're not uh, part of your mental illness. Uh, they're not uh, uh, deceptive spirits. They're not familiar spirits, but uh, they're real entities and I'm real and uh, I love you. And uh, I want you to know that uh, I'm very happy uh, to uh, talk to you each day. So this is Matthew. I'm really uh, happy to meet with you each day. Um, last night I, I was tired and uh, I went to bed uh, without uh, talking to you. Um, but um, but uh, most days I'm happy uh, to upload a video and do a video. And uh, uh, I... Uh, I'm sorry for not speaking to you last night. I spoke to you a little a bit in bed <coughs> before I went to sleep. But it's too tired and worn out and uh, I hope you appreciate it. So this is June. Um, I, uh, I'm really happy, Matthew. You don't have to speak to me each day. And uh, it, it's good uh, when people communicate when they choose to. Uh, if you're listening to this, uh, or reading this book, um, it's important that you, you speak to Jesus and you speak to the Father, you speak to God um, when you want to, at the times that you want to. Uh, uh, the idea of praying for an hour each day or half an hour each day uh, a, as a religious practice that uh, you have to pray for half an hour each day or um, to, to be spiritual, um, is is wrong uh, you should be speaking to jesus uh the amount of time that you feel comfortable the amount of time that you want to um whatever's done in the name of religion is a waste it's self-righteousness so um, the idea that uh, matthew has to speak to me each day is is not real it's not right and uh and i understand sometimes when you're tired matthew that you won't be able to uh, commit to uh, doing a video. Of course, there's uh, the recording of the video and uh, then the uploading of the video and things take a process. And uh, so there's a whole process to uh, making these videos. If uh, people aren't aware, uh, you've got to turn the video on, record the video and then upload the video. And it's a process and it's, it's easier sometimes just to not to do it. And, uh, Matthew has found uh, in uh, the last few weeks that he's just done audio files for people's prophecies from time to time because he didn't want to go through the process of recording a video and uploading a video. Um, so he's just recorded an audio file. So you may notice if you uh, check out Matthew's YouTube channel that there isn't as many prophecies coming through right at the moment because a number of them have been audio files. Uh, so uh, I, uh, I um, am happy that uh, you took this uh, woman to heaven and she was able to uh, see her younger sister. She was able to meet God. She was able to meet Jesus. She was able to have spiritual sight and interact. And uh, that's, a, that's a good thing. Uh, she hasn't had spiritual sight before and uh, hasn't had much hearing. And uh, so you're able to open that up and activate that. And that's a, that's a good thing. Um, it'll be a good thing uh, for you to offer on your website uh, in the future for you to be able to uh, um, allow people to um, uh, contact you on Facebook and arrange a time to uh, speak on uh on um, on the internet and uh, Zoom or Facebook phone each other and 
uh, then you'd be able to uh, take them to heaven and let them interact and uh, open their spiritual eyes and their spiritual ears and it'll be a good thing for people and people will be really encouraged and uh, it's not a money thing uh, for you Matthew it's not uh, so much as a source of income for you uh, it's not something that uh, you'll do to be rich it'll be something that you'll do out of obedience that you have an ability uh, to help people uh, see spiritual things and you have an ability to take people to heaven. Um, your first time uh, you, you met a friend of yours that was a Christian and uh, he was depressed and you just held his hand and took him on a vision to heaven. And uh, the Holy Spirit led you to do that and uh, you opened up this portal for him to go through and uh, and the Holy Spirit led the whole thing. You'd never taken anyone to heaven before you'd been to heaven yourself, but you were led by the Holy Spirit to open up this portal and you took him through it and he was able to experience heaven. And uh, you, um, you take everyone through that same portal that uh, you opened up 15 years ago. And, and so um, you really, uh, have uh, come a long way and you've taken many people through that portal so you're confident and uh, th there's this confidence that you have and this ability that you have that uh, the holy spirit wants to access and take control of and uh, he he wants you to bless people and open up their ability uh, to experience heaven and especially uh, for them to be able to access Jesus and access the Father and access their relatives. And uh, so um, it's, it's some people may uh, look at your life and they may look at your website in the future and look at your ministry and they may accuse you of just um, charging people money for certain things and just running after money. Uh, they may have to have another look at your website and see that all your books are free, over $100,000 worth of book production for free. And uh, people will always uh, say what um, they're inclined to say. People will always have their reasons behind why they say certain things. And their, their, their reasons can be skewed and their minds are skewed by scripture and their understandings of scripture and so they'll accuse you of all sorts of things and uh, you just have to relax and, and uh, just accept that there's always going to be people who object to what you do. There's always going to be people uh, poking fingers and, and accusing you of certain things and uh, you just uh, be confident in who you are and just be confident in uh, the words of Bob Jones, uh, telling you that uh, you're going to take a lot of people on trips to heaven and people are going to encounter heaven because of you and uh, just walk forward in that and uh, the last uh, few times you've been to heaven it hasn't been hard for you to come back because there's a measure of glory in your house now there's a measure of glory in your life now and uh, so uh, going to heaven and experiencing the glory of heaven and then coming back isn't such a shock anymore um, because there's glory in your house. And you used to have a problem uh, taking people to heaven and you stopped doing it simply because it was just such a shuddering shock to come back to earth, to experience the joy and the peace and the love and the glory of heaven and then come back to this uh, decrepit earth uh, was uh, was too much for you and it used to upset you too much to come back to earth when uh, you experienced heaven and uh, so uh, through uh, buying 40 t-shirts you've increased the glory uh, in your life and you're able to um, uh, come back to earth now and not uh, have such a earth-shattering uh, experience <laughs> Uh, I've got some people who um, who uh, want to ask you some questions, and uh, and so we'll do a couple of questions now. Um, 
the first question is, um, are, are you going to uh, fully surrender uh, your life uh, to your future wife? Um, as long as my future wife is surrendered to Jesus and his will for her life, uh, I have uh, no issue in laying down my life to uh, help my future wife achieve her destiny. Um, uh, I, I, I would have... The only way I'd have an issue with, uh, with someone is if their life wasn't surrendered to Jesus and they weren't walking in the will of God. Um, I certainly wouldn't continue in a marriage when a wife was going after the things of the flesh. And I, I, I think that I'll know this uh, woman uh, well enough uh, before I commit to marriage to know that she's led by the Holy Spirit and uh, she is directed by the Holy Spirit. I would have... Uh, seen a blueprint on her life i would have seen a destiny scroll and i'd know her future and uh, there'd be a lot of things on her destiny scroll that are similar to mine and it would be like we're going to co-labor together in the harvest uh, together um, so i don't think uh, i would have um, an issue uh, serving her and laying down my life for her uh, because uh, Scripture compels us to uh, love our partner and uh, sacrifice ourselves and be a slave to our master, to a slave to our, our, our wife. And uh, so uh, I would uh, serve my wife, but uh, I would serve her in the interest of fulfilling her destiny and fulfilling her purpose, not so much um, uh, fulfilling her lusts and uh, love for the things of the world. And so... Is that a good answer? Um, the girl who asked that question is overjoyed. Um, uh, so uh, another question is, um, when do you uh, consider that you'll um, be blessing other people uh, when, when your finances come through? Um, I, I consider that... Um, uh, uh, I've just found out that I, I don't uh, have to um, uh, give uh, $10,000 to uh, James, but he'll need $20,000. And um, I thought I was going to be offering up $10,000 and $20,000 is a lot more. And so I consider um, that that amount will be my tithe, that, um, you know, uh, there's so many uh, prophecies in the Bible that says... Uh, he that lends to the poor, or there's a scripture in the Bible that says, he that lends to the poor lends to the Lord, and the Lord will repay him. And uh, so I consider that uh, giving that amount of money uh, to James will be like my tithe of my money. And, um, and uh, so it's not so much uh, up to James to... Uh, give the money back to me, uh, which would be good if he did. Uh, but I, I know from the promises of God in the Bible that uh, the Lord will repay me, and uh, so I look forward to that repayment from the Lord. Um, and uh, I want to be able to commit that and uh, walk proudly uh, with the fact that uh, I did what I um, promised to do. Um, uh, though I can see myself in the future um, giving money, I, I think I'm, I'm going to um, uh, give my friend Shane uh, 20 T-shirts, which is about a thousand dollars worth, um, and uh, and uh, he he uh, buys T-shirts to move in the glory, and uh, so I'd like to add 20 uh, T-shirts worth of glory to his life, and. Uh, and uh, I'll see uh, about uh, other people uh, that the Lord leads me uh, to give to um, from time to time. Uh, but uh, I'm very uh, much looking forward to my inheritance and uh, especially building this new website and especially uh, buying myself 50 T-shirts and uh, doing the new website, building uh, 
t-shirts and getting the t-shirt site uh, ranked on Google and uh, a number of things. So, um, yeah, so I will be giving uh, as the Holy Spirit leads me to. Um, so there are the questions, Matthew. There are a couple of questions and uh, I was uh, happy uh, with those answers and happy with uh, what you said. Um, your father wants to speak to you uh, now uh, for a short moment. And uh, so I'll just put him in. So this is uh, Bob Payne and uh, he's he's uh, going to speak. So hi, Matthew. Um, I'm really pleased. Um, uh, I want you to commit to uh, the 20,000 to James and um, and just let that be a gift. Uh, he's he's a dear friend to your brother, and um, your brother is going to have a partnership in that restaurant. And uh, indirectly, uh, you're giving money to your brother um, because uh, it seems like James is really going to stick by your brother. And so uh, that's a way of investing in your brother's life and your brother's future without actually giving him the money. And uh, you were uh, in two minds whether you were going to give your brother 15000 that uh, you promised uh, him because you didn't want him to waste it. You didn't want to waste the money and give money to a waste. This way you can uh, give the $20,000 and uh, you uh, are giving it to a right place that's going to be invested right and uh, it's going to uh, become part of a heritage uh, for your brother, something that uh, is worthwhile that will work out for your brother. And uh, so we're really happy with um, that decision. And uh, we want you to know that uh, we'll be happy uh, with uh, that decision. And you'll be able to go in once a week and get a week's worth of meals uh, uh, and uh, bring them home and uh, eat them. Um, at night time for yourself and uh, that, that'll that uh, be amazing for you. Um, I want to reassure you that um, the Lord is always going to supply you and uh, when you get the time over the next six weeks, you can start to map out uh, your website and map out the pages that you want on your website and uh, uh, the Lord is going to prosper you and uh, if you uh, go and do the council meetings as uh, as Orty suggested. Um, the Lord is going to grow your ministry, and uh, and uh, there's a lot of um, advice. There's there's a lot of uh, keys and uh, revelation that you're going to get from uh, the saints in heaven um, as you do your heavenly council meetings and. Uh, there's, there's going to be um, some good revelation for you and uh, some good advice and some good relationships. It'll be uh, wonderful uh, for you to build relationships uh, with the saints in heaven. And uh, their, uh, their, their, their love uh, for you is going to uh, really uh, prosper you. And uh, so um, part of you... Uh, Part of you is insecure and part of you uh, doesn't feel worthy uh, to be talking to those saints. Uh, I know that uh, Kim Clement is someone who who uh, you're in awe of and uh, it'd be interesting for you to um, uh, carry his voice and prophesy in his voice and uh, it'd be interesting for you to uh, get to know uh, uh, Keith Green on a greater level and, and to get to know Moses on a greater level. You you know Bob Jones a little bit and you know Mary Magdalene really well. But it would be interesting for you to grow in your relationship with Michael Jackson, Kim Clement and uh, uh, and Keith Green um, better. Um, so I just want to confirm that um, it's heaven's... Uh, Heaven's understanding and heaven's uh, totally behind uh, you giving $20,000 to James. And I just want to uh, give you the heads up that that's what we want you to do. And uh, we're pleased with uh, what you're going to do. And uh, so I just want to confirm that with you, that um, 
that uh, is our choice uh, for you. So um, I'll hand you back to your mum. Uh, so Matthew, this is June. Um, I really uh, am touched uh, by your generosity. How many people would get an $80,000 investment and uh, inheritance and give away $20,000 to someone they've only known for five weeks or seven weeks? Um, it's uh, $20,000 without uh, like a contract and uh, without uh, with, with risk uh, associated with it is just a grand gesture. But um, as your father just told you, um, the $20,000 is an investment in Rodney and it's a way that uh, you can invest in Rodney's future. And uh, it's something that'll be a success. It won't be something that will be based on Rodney's mania. Rodney can uh, be uh, in and out of hospital um, and, uh, and James will still be able to continue and do what he's decided to do and it will be a success, um, we hope, and, uh, and uh, it, it'll be a good investment uh, for your money. Um, and uh, we're really happy to be able to um, be people that could supply um, that investment uh, for um, him and uh, for you to be able to uh, provide uh, the finances uh, that uh, will uh, help him get his uh, restaurant off the ground. And uh, we're, um, we're very happy uh, to uh, give you the finances that will be able to uh, help that. So you're, you're a friendly sort of guy. Uh, you're a person who uh, believes in, uh, in uh, us and you believe in what we have to say. And uh, um, it, it was needed uh, for your dad to uh, confirm that that's what we agree on. Uh, that's the way that uh, we want you to uh, invest uh, in Rodney's uh, life and that's a secure way of uh, not putting gold away for him, putting something away that's going to have a benefit and uh, uh, a return for him uh, in the future and uh, a way of securing his future and you can do that out of love um, and uh, and that's a, that's a really good thing. Um, I uh, enjoy uh, speaking to you and uh, I enjoy you uh, being so obedient to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, when when you heard it was going to be 20,000, not 10,000, it was a bit of a shock. And, uh, and yet uh, I hope uh, that with our uh, recommendation and our affirmation that uh, you be able to uh, adjust to that and be happy and find peace within yourself uh, to go ahead and do that. Um, I, uh, I look forward to uh, talking to you uh, tomorrow and uh, hope that uh, you enjoy your council meeting tonight uh, when uh, you contact Shane and uh, hope that uh, you learn a lot uh, from the saints that uh, you connect with and uh, that uh, they uh, really do a good um, understanding, a really good teaching for you. Um, so God bless you and keep you and uh, I hope that people listening to this uh, were interested and fascinated, uh, especially maybe with, with your generosity. God bless.